Uh, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Makar Kadash, double honor to the elders and apostles, a great millstone who rule well, and peace and salutations to Akim that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity. This is GMS Aparium, and I'm back here with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Yahweh, As you can see on the, on the screen, it's a, it's a Gadite or Reubenite. You know, it says, fuck your Thanksgiving. Today is so-called Thanksgiving. Well, you know, here in America and throughout the world, Thanksgiving, you know, this is a, a wicked man-made holiday by the Edomites glorifying the death, the genocide, the robbery, the, 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 the slaughter of, of, of the so-called Native American Indians, the Simeon Indians, you know. And then the reason why it's the so-called is because this is just those those Indians, the so-called Indians, are Hebrew Israelites, God's chosen people, man. That the Bible speaks of, man, and this was prophecy. But when when Esau, Edom, the so-called white race, has these celebrations uh, uh, once a year, it's just them celebrating the slaughter, the downfall, the destruction of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Hebrew Israelites, man. So you know when when. Uh, uh, when you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, man, you celebrating these days, man, you just pretty much celebrating your oppressor, uh, destroying you, you're destroying you and your ancestors and you as a nation, man. And that's why it says in Hebrews 4 and 6, um, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. The Lord will reject thee. Our people are destroyed because they have no knowledge, man. They just blindly celebrating and following after the heathens, man. That's why the scriptures, it says, learn not the way of the heathen, man. Because the customs of the heathen are vain, roughly paraphrasing in Jeremiah 10, you know. And I was talking to the Israelites to not to follow the ways of the, uh, the heathen. But that's what that's what uh, what goes on. That's the vibration here in America, Babylon, man. It's, it's against you so-called tribes. I mean, it's against you tribes, it's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but you guys constantly uh, uh, uphold this uh, uh, kingdom and their their veins, uh, 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 vain customs, man, and celebrate them, you know. But here's it's fuck Thanksgiving, man. Fuck this day, man. This day is a day of slaughter, a day of, of robbery, a day of raping, pillage, a day of, of destruction on our people, man. We have no need to be celebrating this, man. So I have a few... Um, Pictures, and I also have an article about the truth uh, of Thanksgiving for those that may not know, that might actually believe the lies that they were taught when they were growing up in school, that the pilgrims came here and the Indians shared a Thanksgiving turkey, or shared a, a turkey dinner, and that's how Thanksgiving was brought up. You know, that's the lies and the deceptions of the so-called uh, uh, white race, the Edomites, uh, how they push in their lies and, and, and white supremacy through schools. You know, they're hiding the truth, man. So I have my article real quick, and I'm going to go through some images, and I'm going to go through the scriptures. Uh, Lord willing, everything's edifying. You know, uh, I got this from, um, I went on Google and just put, like, you know, the real story or, or the hidden story of uh, Thanksgiving. And it came up on, um, on the website, Manat Manataka.org, which sounds like Paleo-Hebrew, you know, what is the Paleo-Hebrew. And it's... Um, the real story of Thanksgiving, introduction for teachers, the Plymouth Thanksgiving story. The real story of Thanksgiving. Most of us associate the holiday with happy pilgrims and Indians sitting down to a big feast. Okay, well, those pilgrims were the Europeans, which their biblical nationality is the um, Edomites. They're from Esau. They're the, devil, they're the wicked, the devil that the Bible speaks of. And the Indians, that was a proverb and a byword that those uh, uh, the, the wicked have given to our people. The Indians, so-called Indians, are the Gadites, the Reubenites, which are Israelites. Israelites, Yasharala, means a prince of power. These are God's chosen people, man. And they're, 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 they're two tribes out of the 12 tribes of Israel. So most of us associate the holiday with happy pilgrims and Indians sitting down to a big feast. And that did happen once. The story began in 1614 when a band of English explorers sailed home to England with a ship full of Pactuix Indians bound for slavery. They left behind smallpox, which virtually wiped out those who had escaped. By the time the pilgrims arrived in Massachusetts Bay, they found out only one living uh, Pactuix Indian, a man named uh, Squanto, 
who had survived slavery in England and knew their language. He had uh, he taught them to grow corn and to fish and to negotiate a peace treaty between the pilgrims and the, the Wapanov nation. And the end of their first year, the pilgrims held a great feast honoring Squanto and the uh, Wampanoags. But as word spread in England about the paradise to be found in the New World, religious uh, zealots called Puritan began arriving by the boatload. Finding no fence fences around the land, they considered it to be in the public domain. Damn Edomites, man, you know. They didn't see no fences, so they were like, oh, this is ours. It's it's for the public, you know. Uh, joined by other British settlers, they seized land, capturing strong young natives for slaves and killing the rest. But the uh, Pakuna nation had not agreed to the peace treaty Squanto had negotiated, and they fought back. The, the Pekano War was one of the bloodiest Indian wars ever fought. In 1637, Near present day, uh, Groton, uh, Connecticut, Salakia, forgive me for mispronouncing the words, over 700 men, women, and children of the uh, Pekinot tribe had gathered for their annual green corn uh, festival, which is our Thanksgiving celebration. In the pre dawn hours, the sleeping Indians were surrounded by English and Dutch mercenaries. Who ordered them to come outside those who came out were shot or clubbed to death while the terrified women and children who huddled inside the long house were buried alive were burned alive the next day the governor of the massachusetts bay colony declared a day of thanksgiving because 700 unarmed men women and children had been murdered see this is this is the damn devil here man and he's honoring it you know Cheered by their victory, the brave colonists and their Indian allies attacked village after village. Women and children over 14 were sold into slavery while the rest were murdered. Boats loads with as many as 500 slaves regularly left the ports of New England. Bounties were paid for Indian scalps to encourage as many deaths as possible. All right, I still have a few more. Salak, yeah. Following an in Especially a successful raid against the uh, Pecknor in what is now Stanford, Connecticut. The churches announced the second day of Thanksgiving to celebrate victory over the heathen savages. During the feasting, they, the hacked off heads of the natives were kicked through the streets like soccer balls. Even the friendly Wapanog did not escape the madness. Their chief was beheaded and his head impaled on a on a pole in Plymouth, Massachusetts, where it remained on display for 24 years. The killing became more and more frenzied with the days of Thanksgiving feast being held after each successful massacre. George Washington finally suggests that only one day of Thanksgiving per year shall be set aside instead of celebrating each and every massacre. Later, Abraham Lincoln declared Thanksgiving to be a national, uh, a legal national holiday during the Civil War. On the same day, he ordered troops to march against the starving um, Seahawks in Minnesota. This story doesn't have quite the same fuzzy feeling associated with it as the one where the Indians and the pilgrims were all sitting down together at a big feast. But we need to learn the tr our true history so it won't ever be repeated. Next Thanksgiving, when you gather with your loved ones to thank the Most High for all your blessings, think about those people who only wanted to live their lives and raise their families. They also took time out to say thank you to the creator for all their blessings. So this is the real truth about Thanksgiving. It just shows that Esau, the so-called white race, race, or you want to call them the Europeans, the colonizers, they're the devil. They're the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. They came here. They 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 noticed this land didn't have any, uh, I guess, fences. It wasn't guarded, you know. So they thought it was their land. They felt like they, can, they wanted to conquer. You know, they made treaties, as it was said, you know. Look, okay, they made treaties with the Indians to be peace treaties, but then they broke them. And that's all scriptural. Let me go get that. This is all biblical, man. But let me get John 10 and 10, because this is talking about Esau, Edom right here. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. 
This is Yahweh Shah talking about the, the, the damn devils, man. Because the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy, man. And that's what Esau, Edom did, man. These Europeans, man. That's These Europeans, the so-called white race, their biblical nationality is the Edomites, man. From Esau, man. And that, and they're the thief. They're the wicked. They're the devil. And all he does is destroy. He steals, kill, and destroy, man. But going back to um, the treaties, because they are... Uh, the uh, pilgrims set, you know, peace treaties with the with the Gadites and the Reubenites, the Israelites, and they broke them because it's biblical prophecy that they were going to break them. Um, Psalms fifty five, verse twenty: He have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He have broken his covenant, and the covenant is like contract or peace treaty. So like, uh, you know. So he put forth his hands against such that be at peace with him. So, you know, when he came, he came cunning. He came with peace, uh, the so-called white race, until our Americas, until our land, you know. And he broke in the covenant. Verse 21, his words, I mean, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn a sword. It's a lot here. See, and this is the so-called white man, man. The so-called white race, man. And this is what he has done, man. You know? Look, okay. cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But thou, O power, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. But yeah, so the, you see, the, these damn devils, man, they, they, they have broken their covenant. They, and they, they have uh, put their hands on those that was at peace with them with the so-called Indians, man, the Gadites, the Israelites, man. And they, they had smooth words, you know, but they had war in his heart, man. Going back to this picture, you can see that, man. You know, they, they'll come smiling in your face, but they have a knife or gun in their back, man. And that's and that's what happened, man, it, when... um. <clears throat> when them damn devils came came to 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 to, to America, man. Uh, Habakkuk two twelve, man, and you can see the images. This is all history, man. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity, man. So woe is death and destruction to him that buildeth a town with blood, and they they pillage. It says in that um in that article that they came and killed the 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 the, the, the families, the children. They were beheading them every year, man. As a, as a, uh, let me get it. Look, it says, uh, a day of Thanksgiving because 700 unarmed men, women, and children have been murdered. So they celebrate this day as a sign for their victory, man. Their victory over the Israelites. Many deaths, you know. And then they put us into slavery. So this this day is just a celebration of the downfall of the of the of the Hebrew Israelites, man. You know, I'm gonna play this video, man. I believe this video was it's, it's a scene from um, uh, what is it? Adam's family, I believe. But this is this is so true, man. This 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 holiday is not a, a is is against the scriptures, against the heavenly Father and His Son. Man, this day is a, uh, it's a hell day, man. It's, it's things killing day. But I'm going to play this uh, uh, video real quick. Sit. Wait. What? We cannot break bread with you. Huh? Becky, what's going on? Wednesday. You have taken the land which is rightfully ours. Years from now, my people will be forced to live in mobile homes, on reservations... Your people will wear cardigans and drink highballs. We will sell our bracelets by the roadsides. You will play golf and enjoy hot hors d'oeuvres. My people will have pain and degradation. Your people will have stick shifts. The gods of my tribe have spoken. They have said, do not trust the pilgrims. Especially Sarah Miller. Gary, she's changing the words. And for all these reasons... I've decided to scalp you and burn your village to the ground. Hey, hey man, 
man. That's a spiritual scene, man. You know, and that's the truth, man. The truth that they guys, uh, uh, the pilgrims, the Edomites came and killed and conquered, man, on this day, man. And then soon there's going to be a day of vengeance, man. And it's, it's, it's going to start by what Yahweh Shai, who the world and we call Jesus Christ, when he comes back, man. We have to wait on our big brother. But he's going to set up his, his servants, his prophets, and they're, they're going to seek out vengeance with the Lord, man. And Esau knows that he got it coming to him, man. They're guilty by, by association, man. You know, they, that's why it says never to trust thy enemy, man. They have came with the smooth words and, and, and then they brought their lies and deceptions and then they play with the minds of the masses that, oh, this day, especially in kids in these schools, that this day is a, a good day. It's a day of peace and with family and we all come together as equal as one. But when the history, those guys came and robbed and killed and slaughtered. They weren't, they weren't considering themselves equal to the, to the Native American Indians, the so-called Native American Indians. They think that they're better. And that's why they did robbery. They killed, the uh, slaughtered. I'm going to go back to the scriptures real quick. Because in that scene, she says never to trust the pilgrims. You know, and that's how we fall off, man, by trusting our enemy. And the scriptures tells us not to. Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So the Lord tells us never to trust our enemies, man. These so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the ch children of Israel, you have enemies. And it's these other nations, mainly Esau, Edom, man. They're, they're, they're heathens, man. They're not Israelites. They are enemies according to the Bible, man. And they have shown through their actions, through their history, that they are enemy, that they're the devil, man. You know? So the Lord told them never to trust our enemy. But, uh, see, this, 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 this land was not stolen, man. It was conquered, man. And, you know, Thanksgiving is a ritual with the turkey represents the flesh of the Indians. Well, you know, the natives or the Hebrew Israelites. And the cranberry sauce represents the blood of, of the Hebrew Israelites, man. But, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Hey, man, you y'all love this day, man. Y'all love the fact that y'all can go eat y'all pork, y'all ham, y'all turkey, be with your families, get drunk. Hey, man, you guys don't have no knowledge and no history. Hey, you guys, this is the reason why two-thirds of our people got to die, man. Because they continue to celebrate these... Man-made pagan hell days instead of uh, 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 going back to doing some research and finding out their history and, and going back to their true nationality and their heritage, which is the Israelites in the Bible and celebrating the holy days that, that the Lord require us to celebrate. But see, that's why our, our people got to die, man. Two thirds of our people, man. They're hard head, stiff neck, impudent children, man. And they just, they, they, they surpass the deeds of the wicked, man. They have been comfortable uh, be, uh, following the customs of these heathens. And they have became heathens, man. So when you Christians are praying over your food today, and there's going to be uh, uh, the Christians, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and you celebrating this holiday, you should be put to death. But there's gonna be turkey, there's gonna be ham, pork, all type of shit in your in your food, and y'all gonna bless it. But we pray that the Lord is gonna destroy y'all, man. Yeah, you know, and this place needs to be destroyed, man, for all the lies, the deceptions, the iniquities that has been pushed, man. And those that don't wanna hearken, that so called Negro that are so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you guys don't wanna hearken to the men of the Lord, to this true word of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. You wanna scoff, you wanna mock, you wanna continue to to follow the customs of this world. Hey, you're gonna be put to death, man. Straight up, man. You know? And then and then after Thanksgiving, y'all wanna go Black Friday and go and go crazy for for things for vain things, man. For discounts and y'all don't even know the history of that, man. You know? So, man, with that, the Lord, I'm going to bring out Amos 5, verse 21. Let me get it in the scriptures. Amos 5 and 21. Because everybody's ready to, um, you know, go to their family dinners, eat their turkey, eat their swine, their ham, their chitlins. You know, they're ready to pray in the name of Jesus over the food and be thankful, even though that's not the name. So they're about to eat food offered unto idols. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, this is what the Lord said. Amos five and uh, twenty one. Amos five and twenty one. I hate and I despise your feast days. I will not smell your, I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. 
Yet ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings. I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. For I will not hear the melody of thy vows. You know, but let judgment run down as water and righteousness as a mighty stream. Man. So the Lord is not, is not with Thanksgiving. He despises your feast days. He hates your solemn assemblies. And those that continue to, 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 to follow these customs of the, of the wicked, of these heathens, hey amen. Judgment is going to be soon uh, be poured upon you, man. And it's by death, destruction, man. You know, famine, pestilence, earthquakes, martial law, FEMA camps, beheading. Ravishing, you know, the implementation of the RFID chip. Now, ultimately, the thermonuclear missiles that's going to hit America, aka Babylon, and destroy this place, man. So that's why the Lord said, "Come up out, of my, come up out of her, my people, man." You know, this place is wicked, man. So, man, with that, man, yeah, let me just get this image again. This sums it up on this holiday. Best believe we're gonna eat. You know, uh, I'm going to cook. With my wife, to be honest, I'm gonna go cook with my wife. I ain't gonna be no damn things. It ain't gonna be no, no turkey. I'm gonna cook just a, you know salmon or maybe a filet mignon just because I have to eat. And you know I'm not in the spirit of this holiday, man. But those that are, man, you're gonna be utterly destroyed, man. Thus said Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man. But this image just sums it all up, man. Fuck this holiday. Fuck this hell day, man. You know, fuck America. Fuck Esau, Edom, man, and the holidays that they celebrate, man. You know. So with that, it's death to Babylon. I pray everything was edifying. I want to say, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakaq, Kadash, for giving me the spirit to do this do, do this lesson. A uh, uh, double honest to our elders and apostles, a great millstone who taught me this truth and rule well, man. And peace and salutations to the Bayah, the Dawah, the House of David, the elect. Shalom.